Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a Nino tutorial. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about multi-state box. This is a new feature that Wix has to offer and I'm excited to give you a tutorial, a basic tutorial about it. So let's get started. For those who do not know, this is all happening in Corvid, uh, which is Wix code. And this is a very powerful, useful tool, uh, especially when you're trying to use it for showing different, uh, different states, like different types of views that a person would like to see. Uh, and today I'm gonna actually go into a little bit of a detail uh, tutorial about this so ever wonder about you know trying to use this multi-state box well what you can use is which is different from an actual interactive slideshow is that it can expand uh, to however you know big length that you have it to be set on and that's what I actually like about this is that it can expand uh, and that it's it's a lot faster to load uh, also that you know there's some elements that are in a slideshow that you know would have different heights to it that would probably get cut off or you know it wouldn't expand to its actual height with and so that's what you can use this multi-state box for as well as if you have any other like products uh, from the Wix store that you want to show up on here and you want to just have it uh, react based upon if you have a new uh, new arrival of products or if you're sold out of products or stuff like that this multi-state box can actually ease your uh, the process of like creating cool creative uh, Wix store presence uh, on your on your Wix website so let's get started I'm going to uh, going to show you guys how to get to here first so what we want to do here is we want to click add then we want to go over interactive and then we want to go to multi-state box okay I pulled over this preloader right here uh, and put it right here onto my page just to give you a heads up you can use any of these and then creatively create something that you would need this box uh, made for so it's very useful and definitely get creative with it. So next you wanna to go to your development mode and then you wanna turn on Corvid, okay? Right now I already have Corvid on, but you wanna turn Corvid on and then you'll get this, uh, this uh, exit Corvid button. So now, since we got that started, we want to open up uh, our slides. So excuse me, not our slides, our states. So here we have manage states. This is where you can actually add different states, uh, add duplicate states if you would like, or add more states and just get creative with that guys. Like, I mean, this is for anything on your website. I really think this is a game changer that Wix has to offer. So you can manage your states here, which, you know, if you don't want the preloader, you can like get rid of it. Uh, if you want an intro or an expanded, you know, you can always change those things. Uh, so how you change it is actually go to your three dots and then you can edit the ID or you can duplicate it or delete it. Okay, so once we have that done, we can go over here to change background. Now this change background is different than your design. Okay, so your change background, this will change backgrounds on each state. And so if I wanted this to be a little bit more, le uh, you know, a little bit less or even transparent, uh, this will not affect my other multi-state box, uh, other states in this box. Okay, so boom, you see that your background is still the same. Now, if you go back to your preloader, it's gonna still be transparent. So let's go ahead and boost that back up so it can be, uh, so it can look like the video is, you know, part of this whole multi-state box, uh, which is this state. 
So let's see, we, we'll go over to settings. This is basically your uh, way of how it interacts. So if you're, you know, it's just like a slideshow guys. It's just like a slideshow. You can do a vertical, horizontal, crossfade, or in and out. When you go over to your design, this is the design of the box itself. Okay, so not changing any background here. You don't have that option because you have the option to change each state background uh, for inside this box. So if you go over here to border, you can you know do stuff with the border, make the corner radiuses, and uh, create a, a shadow for this. Then you can have the animations here. This is just basically uh, on load that these animations would show uh, or whether you're hiding or showing this multi-state box that animation will kick in so here we have our properties here this is where your overall id of the box is okay so multi-state box this is your overall id now each state id will have uh will have the option of like the managed states here so that you can change this here or you can change it inside of here and make it uh, a different ID. So if you wanted to go in here and make this preloader one, uh, because you have a, another preloader, once you change that, it changes it for this one right here, okay? But it does not change it in your state ID, so you need to go back over to your state ID and actually put in that one, and then uh, click outside the box or press enter, okay? So once we got that, uh, we have everything looking synced up, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create a some code. I'm gonna create some code, okay? And so what I have down here is a, a quick little code snippet to go through all of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, go through all of the boxes here so what I want to do is I want to add something else to it uh, because since this says preloader, I want it to be a preloader. So what we'll do here is we'll do a set timeout. And by doing this set timeout, this will like mimic like it's loading. And so then once it's loaded, then I can display the content. So what I want to do is after it times out, I want it to go straight to my uh, my state, which is called um, intro. Up here, I see it, it's called intro. So what I want it to do after the timeout uh, has been completed, I want it to change it to the intro box. And it won't go back to anything else after that. So let's go ahead and set that time. I'm gonna put it up to 10 seconds. Okay. So that's that's generically 10 seconds. One second is uh, 1000, okay. And then a half a second is 500 and so on. So if you wanna get creative with that, uh, but I think 10 seconds uh, or less would be best here. So let me go ahead and put that at 8,000. You know, at seven, I'm gonna do 7,000, okay? So once my page loads up and a person sees this box, it's gonna go through seven counts, okay? Uh, so seven seconds, and then it's gonna display my intro box. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I have here is I'll go over to my intro box. And as you can see, I have a button right here, which is button eight. And so I connected the on click uh, to actually go straight to my expanded view. And you can see here that my state ID is intro. So that is why I have this change state to intro uh, for my state box. So then you wanna go here to expanded view, okay. Guys, you guys can get creative with this, but right now I'm just showing you this as an example. And so that's why I just pulled it from uh, from the template itself. Now, if you guys don't want to show it like this, you guys can do different things. Uh, I'm actually, 
I might just do something different here. Um, but yeah, so you can use this for a lot of different things. Let your creative minds go and explore different things that you can do with multi-state box. So here I have another button here that takes me back to my intro. So this is just like a nice little uh, intro, if you if you will, uh, about <clears throat> about what is this about? Let's see about Berry Delight. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put it back to preloader. And what I want to do here is make sure that it always starts with preloader. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick and make it start with preloader. Preloader one, okay? Just like it says up there, right here at my state ID. That's what I'm gonna put right here, okay? So once I finish that out, so that means if I put this down to like intro, it's still going to go back to it. So let's go ahead and preview this site and let's see what happens. So before we preview, uh, I just want to come back here to my set timeout code. And I just want to get, let you guys know that if you're following me step by step, uh, I had an I here, a lowercase I. Go ahead and boost that up to a capitalized I because I, I'm pretty sure that uh, for that state, it was capitalized. Yes, so it's capitalized right here. So do that before you preview so that then the code can work if you're trying to follow step by step. All right, so let's go up here to preview. All right, so it's previewing and let's see, after seven seconds, boom, it has changed. Now I can go ahead and read more about Berry Delight and boom, it shows me Berry Delight. So all of these buttons are working so far. Now, if I wanna go back to that, I'll just press back and boom, it does. It does go right back to my intro state. So that was really cool, actually. I, I like that. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, and seriously, have fun with it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a shot. I think it's uh, very helpful to have this multi-state box, especially if you're wanting to do it with uh, different things. And I'm actually gonna do a future tutorial about multi-state box and create something that's pretty uh pretty awesome that you guys can use uh in your future uh but yeah if you have any questions drop it below thank you so much for watching and if you like this video hit that like button subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you in the next video okay guys ciao